Welcome to the Two Ton Nerds. As always, my name is Max James. It's October 27th, 2018, which means it's day 27, and as well as day 26 of the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project Year 7. And today's movies are Halloween Town and Hocus Pocus. We got two movies centered around witches and both on uh, both spectrums, good and evil. So, but I'm kind of going to do a flat review for this movie, for both of these movies, because last night me and my girlfriend celebrated our Halloween with pumpkin pie blizzards. Uh, we watched Trick or Treat. We almost got to Halloween, as you can see in the thumbnail. That we we almost watched all of our movies for our Halloween night, but we also had good food. It was just we had it was perfect. It was nice and cool outside. It was kind of rainy, which is to me is kind of perfect. So. I just wanted to talk about these movies together um, as one because they are both Disney movies. They are perfect to watch this time of year. And not all horror movies need to have blood and guts and boobs and slasher uh, high icons and whatever else. Decapitations. You know, it just doesn't need all that. These two are true embodiments of the Halloween spirit because they both take place on Halloween. They have so much Halloween spirit coming out of it, it's not even funny because one ten, one of these movies is actually literally called Halloween Town where the whole town is just Halloween every year round. Um, so, and they just walk around as if nothing is out of the norm, which is amazing. And I may kind of rag on these movies um, every now and again, but, and, but in reality, I think these two movies are a lot of fun. They are, like I said, the true embodiment of the Halloween spirit because these are people's favorites. I have my own personal favorites. I know they're a little bit more towards the R rating of the spectrum, but but these are people's favorites, and I understand that, and that's what makes these movies just that much special to other people just as much as I think Trick or Treat, Halloween 3, Season of the Witches, to me. So... I have to respect these movies in that regard because they are just, and plus, I think they're just a lot of fun. You, sometimes you kind of just need as a break from all that gore and boobs and butts and and decapitations and slasher icons, and just kind of just have a n quiet night, but still have the Halloween spirit still present. So, but that's really all I gotta say. I, I. What has been said these, about these movies that hasn't already been said? And basically, it comes down to personal experiences. And my experiences was perfect last night. That's, I think these are going to become a new tradition in this household, watching Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town, and as well as a couple of my favorites. So, and eating our Halloween, eating our blizzards. And so, I think what, these two are going to be a personal tradition here in the Two Ton Nerd household. Or, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, that's all I got to say about these two movies. I mean, there's tons more I could say. I think the acting, the special effects, just the overall feel about these movies are just fantastic. I never get old watching older movies. Like, uh, Brother Peanut Butter, he talked about Under Wraps um, earlier this month. I have not seen that movie in ages, probably since it came out. And it just immediately brought so much fun to um, me and thinking about all of it. That's kind of why I'm like, you know what? I don't need to keep doing scary movies all month long. I can have a, a break in the, in the monotony of horror and just have a lot of fun. Just to have true Halloween spirit movies. So that are more toward, targeted toward the fun aspect of Halloween. So... As always, my name is Max James, coming from the basement. Please like, comment, and share this video. Leave what your experience is with these two movies down below, and I will try to get to them uh, because I have my own Halloween experiences with others, and I want to know what your Halloween experience is, what movies that you like to watch during this time of year, and I'm going to go geek out. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified for future Two Ton Nerds videos.